video is on pricing an option with the risk removed. Check out the entire Black Scholes course at momentsintrading.com or at youtube.com slash momentsintrading. To fully understand option pricing, it is helpful to first look at option pricing with the risk removed. By removing the risk, we remove all uncertainty and we know what will happen. In the section on the intuition and assumptions, we learned that there are two driving forces of price, a constant drift rate and the risk or uncertainty caused by constant random volatility. Furthermore, we, we learned that removing the risk simply means removing the volatility and with the risk removed, price would then simply drift up at the risk-free rate over time. Let's take the risk out of the equation and price an option. Looking at the Black-Scholes formula, we can split it into four parts. The first is the current price of the stock. The next is the strike price of the option. This is the price that the stock needs to be at or above in the future for the option to contain value. The third is something called the time value of money, and we will cover that in a moment. Then there is the fourth part, ND1 and ND2. ND1 and ND2 explain the movement of price with the risk included. It is the two driving forces of price, the drift rate and the effect volatility has on that drift rate. It is in fact a probability odds calculation based on past price movement which we will cover in the section on pricing with risk. Therefore, to price an option with the risk removed, we are going to take ND1 and ND2 out of the equation. Remember that with the risk removed, price will simply drift up at the risk-free rate. This is known as the certainty of movement. Looking at a chart, we have the strike price of the option, and we have today's price of the stock. We need to calculate out what the price of the stock will be in the future when the option expires by continuously compounding today's stock price at the risk-free rate. Stock price when the option expires equals today's stock price continuously compounded at the risk-free rate from today until the option expires in the future. So now we have the future price of the stock when the option expires. To get the price and value of the option on the day it expires, we take the future stock price and subtract off the option strike price. Future option value and price equals future stock price minus the strike price. We then have to consider the time value of money and discount the option to the present value. The time value of money is a risk-free rate, so we must discount the option to present value by continuously negatively compounding by the risk-free rate. Therefore, the price of an option, with the risk removed, is its intrinsic value at expiration discounted to present value. Let's look at this again in more detail. The no risk list arbitrage argument shows us that with the risk removed, the stock will increase in price at the risk free rate. Therefore, we take today's stock price and continuously compound it at the risk free rate to find out what the stock price will be in the future when the option expires. We then subtract the option strike price to get the option's future intrinsic value. Again, this is not today's value. It is the option's value at expiration. To get the price of the option today, the option is discounted to present value by negatively compounding the future value by the risk-free rate. Notice again that, with the risk removed, the price of the option is the intrinsic value of the option at expiration discounted to present value. It is also important to note that with the risk removed, an option with a higher strike price, what is called an out-of-the-money option, has no price or value at all. It is only the risk or volatility of the stock, the uncertainty of movement, that gives an out-of-the-money option any value. Looking at the Black-Scholes formula again, we remove the risk by removing ND1 and ND2. Price increases at the risk-free rate. The strike price is subtracted. 
the value is discounted to present value, the formula is distributed and simplified. So there you have pricing an option with the risk removed. In the next video, I will cover in more detail the time value of money for those who do not completely understand the concept. And then we will enter into the section on pricing an option with the risk included. See you then.